Hi there, I'm Clueless Mike, and you're watching Modeling for Advantage. So, we have another unboxing for you this week. Let's see what the Kaiser has shipped over to me. We have, what's this? Smelly Xeno Fish People. Well, Tau. Let's see what's in the box. Okay, so this is the Combat Patrol for Tau from Games Workshop. Uh, it costs the usual price. I can't remember how much these are now, uh, but they all cost a reasonable um, amount compared to many things, but are pretty good value if you want to buy Games Workshop miniatures, which many of us do. So inside, as always, we have our book. We won't spend much time on this. Color-coded, if it's the first time you've seen one of these, they're brilliant, really good. Useless stats on the back, ignore those. Uh, what else do we have in this box? We have some bases. These ones look like 32 mil bases. I think they're probably for the characters and for the stealth battle suits. Then we have some smaller 25 mil bases. I'm glad they haven't changed the base size on these bad boys for those people with older models. Uh, these are for the standard fire warriors. So let's get to some sprues. What do we have here? Uh, this looks like one of the characters. Um, now, let's. I'm going to try and remember what the character is called. I can't remember this one. Um, he is the Cadre Fireblade. Okay, so he is, unfortunately, it's a monopose sculpt. Um, he comes with a rifle with a marker light on it, I believe. He comes with a knife. Not my favourite model, to be honest. It's, I think it's a pretty poor pose for Tao. It's a guy with a knife holding in the air. Um, in rules terms, the new Tao book has um, just come out. Um, and overall, the Tao are a really strong army. This guy, not particularly strong, though. He isn't going to be one of the stars of this box, I'm afraid. Um, he can buff Fire Warrior units with a little buff close by. Um, but most people will be taking in their armies a Tau commander of a various flavour who have much better all-round buffs and do the same buff but better that this guy does in general. So you won't really see much of this guy unless you're really going super Fire Warrior heavy. So that's him. Not the best model, not the best rules. In contrast, we have here an Ethereal. This is a really cool model. It's an Ethereal riding a little floaty hover disc. Ethereals are kind of like the spiritual and moral leaders of the Tau Empire. Um, so I really like the idea of them floating around on their little hover drone, kind of like above the masses. Um, these guys have been given a massive glow up in the new rules. They're kind of like uh, Space Marine chaplains. Uh, they have abilities they can roll for at the start of each command phase, um, which can then buff units around them. But the abilities they get are really strong and also quite versatile. Um, so I think you'll see one of these in most Tau armies, and this is a really cool model for it. Um, so excellent buy for this particular model. Again, it's mono pose. Um, you could, I suppose, swap some of the bits around on it, but I'm not sure the Tau kits, because they're actually slightly different races involved in different parts of Tau culture, I'm not sure there are many bits you could feasibly kit bash onto an Ethereal if you wanted to. So not sure having multiple of that kit would be much use. Okay, we move on to a reasonably venerable kit. Uh, this is the Stealth Team, Stealth Battle Suits. Uh, they're really good in the new Codex. Uh, they've always been pretty passably good, but now they're just really good. Battle Suits in general, whether they be Stealth ones, normal Crisis Battle Suits, or the slightly bigger ones, have all given been given a rule to fire while they're in close combat, the unit they're in close combat with, uh, which is really helpful for Tau, because all Tau are reasonably survivable. These guys, for instance, have three up save, two wounds, so they're kind of like a Space Marine, um, but you get negatives to shoot them if you're at range from them, they get bonuses to cover when they're in cover, and they get a set of really good guns. Um, their little burst cannons have basically now become the same as assault cannons rules-wise. They get six shots. Um, I think they're strength five or six. Uh, and they also get fusion guns, which are better melter guns. I mean, melter guns are really good, so why not have a better ranged one of those? Uh, really good. Not the, again, not the most impressive of kits. I really like the tower range in general, and all painted up, it can look lovely, especially with some of the bigger battle suit models. Uh, but these are they're pretty similar. There's not a much customization you can do to them. Three, ba three stealth battle suits will look pretty similar to the next three stealth battle suits. 
Okay, what is this one here? Okay, so this is the big boy from the kit. Uh, this is a Ghost Keel battle suit. Uh, this is a really cool model. I like it a lot. It's one of the bigger kind of like um, mecha suits. Uh, this one is stealth orientated, as stealth orientated as you can get with a big suit. But actually, Tau can pull that off because they have kind of like field technology that'll cover it up and things like that. It's not like the Space Marine Walker that's supposedly a giant kind of like 12 foot tall walking uh, mecha suit, which is actually a stealth creepy mecha suit. This one actually uses technology to be hard to hit and such. Rules wise, really strong. Um, you can't shoot it unless it's the closest model or you're within 18 of it. So it can dance around at kind of like medium range, putting down some pretty lethal firepower. Uh, it similarly has a um, much better belt, melter gun uh, that gets three shots at longer range of higher strength. It can have a really nasty plasma cannon, uh, which is three damage and always gets six shots, so really powerful there. Uh, it can have subsystems as well. Um, it can have burst cannons. It can have fusion guns, extra on there. It comes with two drones, which are part of the thing that give it its stealth bonus. Uh, which is really nice. You always get negative one to hit it because it's so stealthy. Overall, just a really good unit, a really good model as well. Excellent buy for this kit. Um, then we move down into, now I think this is all the Fire Warriors. Um, let's see what you can build these as. So if we look closely at our kit, yeah, this is all Fire Warriors. I'm just looking at guns. So Fire Warriors can be armed in multitude of ways so these guns here these are pulse rifles um, you also get to take pulse carbines uh, which i think are these smaller ones here um, and you also get to take i can't remember the exact term for them but basically pulse shotguns in which case the unit becomes a unit of breaches uh, the rifles are really good they're 36 inch range now strength 5 minus 1 ap uh, so a really solid um, gun um, the carbines you're not going to take them. They're 24 inch range. They get two shots there, but the rapid fire on the rifles is generally just better and they have higher AP. Or the shotgun versions, they've got two different range bands they can fire at. I think it's 16 inches. Uh, they're reasonably powerful. They're kind of like a pulse rifle. At close range, though, they're strength six AP minus two, which on a basic dude who costs you about eight points. That's a really strong gun. Uh, I think it gets two shots as well. So they can be absolutely lethal. Um, to use either of these squads, you probably want to take a Devilfish Transport, which isn't in this box. Um, and you kind of, you'll need one of those for each squad of these you take. Also, the rules for these have been changed. So you can only have 10 in a unit now. You used to be able to take smaller units, but now you're fixed to take the 10, which ups their minimum cost quite a lot. So it's harder to just squeeze these in as a tax unit. So it's better to actually use them as a deployable unit in your army that are actually gonna do some work because they can do some work. Um, the kit also comes with a little turret here, um, which can be built with one of two different missile systems. One fires out a line of sight. One is a direct fire, two damage uh, strength seven missile, which is really good. Um, you can make can some drones out of the kit. Most Tau basic kits come with drones. This one comes with a gun drone, a shield drone, and a marker drone. Um, and you can choose which you take with the model. Um, but I think it comes with enough bits looking at it that you get to build all three so you can swap them out as you go and also use them with other units because all tower units get taken from a mixture of drones. Uh, they've changed up the drone rules in this edition so they're no longer as obnoxious as they were, which is a good thing. Um, looking at the kit, seeing what other bits we've got on this half. Got loads of different heads here. I mean, all these heads look pretty darn similar to me. There's different shaped heads. This one's slightly more curved than this one. So I suspect one is a fire warrior and one is a breacher. I couldn't tell you which is which. Um, and then I suspect these other little bits also to denote breachers and fire warriors. Uh, but that is a squad of 10 fire warriors. Getting down to the base, we have a ghost kill base. Um, two bigger bases, so I suspect actually the characters go on these 40 mil bases. Interesting. They're tiny little models, but uh, sure they'll be fine on there. And then we've got some flying bases. Um, I'm assuming one of these is for the Tau um, Ethereal. Uh, the other ones must all be for drones. Um, so lots of flying bases. Luckily, these are the old style GW flying bases. Little clear discs, nice and simple. Clear pole goes in it. They're really solid. They work really well. You can plug the model on and off the top. It's a good flying base, unlike those weird curvy ones they're sticking on the newer models now. Lastly, in the box, we have some transfers. 
I'm not going to lie to you, they're all in Tau, which appears to be, if we come closer to the screen, hopefully that's uh, picking that up, is basically some lines next to each other. I mean, I'm not sure I'd use these, uh, but I'm sure some people do. I expect some people out there even know how to read Tau, but who knows. Okay, that is the Tau box for you. Um, I suspect it's pretty good value if you add it up compared to the models inside. If you're a new Tau player, you're definitely going to want Fire Warriors. They're a good troop unit and you're going to need troop units. Uh, so they're a good buy for that. Uh, the Stealth Suits, really good. The Ghost Kill, really good. Um, the um, Ethereal, really good. The Cadre Fireblade, not very good, but... That's only a really small part of the kit. So overall, this is probably a really good kit to buy for a new Tau player. Give you a nice start with the army. Um, even a couple of these, um, you're only really wasting the two characters because the extra ghost keel, the extra stealth suits and the extra fire warriors would come in really handy. So overall, that's probably a nice big plus for Tau players out there. Thanks for watching. If you're still here and you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's obviously a lot of ways down in the description, but a key way is to use our affiliate links to Whaling Games and others. You buy your models from them, it doesn't cost you a penny more, and we earn a little bit of commission. Thank you.